we doing YouTube? Hi. Welcome back to 26 Acres Outdoors. We're checking our trap line for the second day. We just uh, got to our second set. Uh, yesterday we all we got was one tiny, tiny little possum. Wasn't even worth doing anything with. We let him go. But in the same spot now we have a bigger one, which we're going to let him go. We're going to show you how to let him go. They're really not worth anything. Um, not worth the time and effort and just not what we're after. So we're going to let them go here. We're going to show you how we do that. It's not too hard. Um, he's either going to get really mad or he's going to play dead. I'm going for hopefully he plays dead. But we'll show you what we do. All right, here we go. You got me to stand. Yeah, I go up. Right here? <laughs> yeah, it's filming. So good. All right, come on down here. What are you doing? All right, so there he is, and now I'm going to uh, wrangle him up. This is going to be the filmer. You want to get me and the possum? All right. Sort of. He's a boy. Grab my tail. Oh. Get his little hand out of there. And we're gonna put more you can get away. And hopefully we don't take any more. Let the other one guy go. I'm gonna put him down. Let him wake up. Come on, buddy. He's playing dead. He's playing bashful. Come on. Let's go, buddy. He's playing dead. We'll back up and uh, I'm sure he'll take off once we get away. He didn't want to move. So we let that little po uh, that possum go. It was actually pretty good size. And unfortunately we didn't hit the record button. But we're new to the game. So we're over here at one of our raccoon sets then. We had to put the um, golf balls on top because it's raining today. I don't know where the golf ball went. We can't find it. So. I don't know if there's just somebody messing around back here or something just decided that uh, maybe it's thought it was an egg covered in baked grease. Couldn't tell you. But we're on to the next. Well, we go a little further down, and guess what? It must be a possum pot. Ah, guess what? It must be a possum paradise around here. We got another one. So at least we're going to get a good video on how to release these things. Basically, just grab them by the tail. Make sure you have gloves because they're mouths. They have sharp teeth. Um, they got lots of bacteria and stuff. You don't want to get bit with them. I normally wear leather gloves, not the ones I have, because I can't find the other ones. Um, but still, you really don't want to get bit, and you really shouldn't, because they they play play dead. But this one looks he looks a little more feisty. So I'm gonna give the controls to Izzy. And uh, ready? Yep. Gloves. Good thing is they're not fast, not like a bobcat. Yeah, no. Bobcats are not fun. Does this look like it's angled? Huh? Does it look like You're pointing it? at the ground. 
Off he goes. Well, like I said, we're deer hunting. Tomorrow we got a gummy and a little bit of wet dog food. I wonder if he's only took the golf ball because he's got golf ball over here either. I don't know what's stealing the golf balls. Any idea? Snake. A snake is not going to steal it. It's too cold for snakes. Well, they like eggs, and it may look like an egg. I don't know. Something I don't see it. Mm -hmm. A little bit some more on. Tomorrow, still got our tags on there. What that? Ah. Oh, start messing it up. You always want to check, make sure your tags are still on there, especially after you got a catch. Um, we still have. Our gummy. So I'll reset that. But we're not gonna add any more bait till tomorrow. Not that this little guy would have interfered much with deer hunting tomorrow, just sitting there hanging out, but I kinda Alright. Mm -hmm. Really like to know where all our golf balls are going, you? Yeah. Now we put them on. The one back there had a golf ball still. Yeah, which 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 is nice with the golf balls is if you have a, a trap line that you're setting and you're driving through on a four wheeler or UTV or your truck, you don't have to keep getting out. You can basically drive by and see them. And lo and behold, we're missing our golf ball again. What the heck? It's still a gummy. You don't see it anywhere? Mm. About bright white golf balls. And we've lost how many is that already? It's like Three. five or six. Three or four. It's like five or six. Mm -hmm. What the heck? It's a bird or something's flying off with it. I don't know. But there's a sure way to find out. We have enough trail cameras that uh, if I keep missing golf balls, I'm kind of curious of what where they're going. Hmm. All right, well, this one doesn't need much. We're not adding any food, but we'll check it again in the morning. So, this could be this could be far-fetched, but I'm not sure. We're just walking out of Corona Crossing here, and uh, I'm going to step in it. But we've got some coyote uh, scat. Poop, whatever you want to call it. This may Get technical, we'll call it scat. Um... I don't know if because of the degree. I don't know. I've never had a problem with my golf balls going missing. But could be. Um, we're going to put some coyote sets here come December. Which is pretty much right behind the house. But it's kind of where they like to go. So. We're also going to put a camera up. And see what's eating, taking all the golf balls. Could be a coyote. I don't know. I don't think they'd eat golf balls. But you never know. If it thinks it's an egg. Or something. All right, we're towards the end of what we got set up already. Not much excitement other than those possums and the mysterious vanishing golf balls. Almost all of them are knocked off, except a few, which is fine. And it looks like they licked the bacon grease off. And we're at another one. Golf ball's gone. And nothing setting it off. I'm really starting to think it might be a coyote. Oh man, I wouldn't want to find that one that has a stomach full of golf balls. I just never, never heard of anything eating them. I mean, it's random through the whole property that they're just missing. And we're, you know, we're down in a ravine in the woods. You know, the other ones were kind of close to where somebody shouldn't be. But if they were, maybe they. Didn't know, but not down here. They're, they're just, they're vanishing. And it's like, it's licked off. They, they can't even, it's almost like, I'd say it's something with the tongue, but no, my curiosity is up now. 
look at this. Well, this is how it should be if something's messing with it. The golf ball's relatively close. And once again, all the bacon is licked off and something been gnawing on it. See that? I'm chewing on it. You know it's got teeth. But we'll just put this back on. I really hope something's not eating it. <laughs> In a belly full of golf balls. Mm. Well, we're going to try to get to the bottom of this. So uh, this is actually going to be a pretty good video series of where's our golf balls? Okay, we are back from checking our line for the second day. And what did we get today? We got two possums. Yeah, a big one? A big one and a little one. And a little one. So I hope you learned when you get to, uh, I take those little critters off, put them more and grab them on tail. You may need it into one that is a little nasty, but they're pretty slow. Um, but like I said, with the bacteria in their mouth, the last thing you want to do is get bit. And I would wear, um, you know, leather gloves, which I did not have. I would suggest that. Um, and the big riddle, it's like a Scooby-Doo mystery. Where's our golf balls going? Something eating them, something flying off of them. But they're nowhere near anything, and we have not run into this yet. So, I mean, uh, so we're, we're having some good, uh, hopefully some good footage of whatever the heck's doing it. And, uh, I mean, they hit, I don't know, three or four were knocked off, three or four were touched, and then we're missing probably eight or nine golf balls like going like not anywhere around i don't know if they're eating it or carrying it off but we got ourselves some mystery we'll get to the bottom of it thanks for tuning in i uh, hope you had fun we did and we really got more to come uh here soon we're gonna have a lot more videos and uh we should have a good time thanks for tuning in 26 acres outdoors <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel, turn on your post notifications, and give this video a like.